We have another member of the Paint Ship Brigade. Hi, Charles. Looking back, do you think you would have changed the amount of ADA circulating? Would you have ever considered burning maybe one to three billion of ADA, which would allow the value to increase? So, Marco, I don't understand, and this is something through three years now I've been dealing with. It actually surprised me. The amount of ADA in circulation has absolutely nothing to do with overall the use, utility, and value of the project. If I have a thousand ADA in circulating supply and lots of decimal points, if I have 10 billion ADA in circulating supply and fewer decimal points, does it really matter? The price per unit is lower or higher, but at, at the end of the day, it'll still be worth 3 billion. It's just the unit price will be a little higher or lower. As for burning, whose ADA am I going to burn? Is it going to be your ADA? Rick, you still here? Can I burn some of your ADA, Rick? You want me to burn some of yours? Or maybe maybe we should burn Philippe's ADA. Or I, I don't know, you know, let's just pick somebody. Marco, you let me know whose ADA are we going to burn for that one to three billion ADA. Another thing is there is market data of burn events. Stellar burnt a massive amount of their supply. It killed years of roadmap from their governing body. Years. And they got a 20% boost. Short-term speculators came in, gobbled all of it, and left, and the price went down. And now we're, what, two hex over them? So we should destroy the entire future of the project or the core people who worked in the project or rob money from people so short-term speculators can go and make a little bit of money for a perceived event? Also, how do you actually know how much is in circulating supply? For example, Bitcoin, there's only ever going to be 21 million. And I think, what, 14, 15 million have been minted? I don't know. Look on CoinMarketCap, you tell me. Now tell me, how many of those coins that are actually in circulation are still alive? Some people think more than half of the Bitcoins in circulation are lost. So is that reflected in the market price? If somebody announced tomorrow, we have discovered 5 million of the Bitcoin that have been minted are lost, what would happen? Do you think the price would suddenly go up and people say, holy shit, there's only ever going to be 16 million Bitcoin. Wow, we let's massively increase the price. It wouldn't go up because it happened. People announced that study. They said all the Bitcoin are not in circulation. You guys, this is the paint chip question. It comes every now and then, and uh, they're less frequent today because our community is so smart. But then somebody comes on in and really firmly believes that. Why? Because scammers and marketers and manipulators who have nothing to sell you, they don't have dApps, they don't have vision, they don't actually have technical skills or science, and they're a copy and paste coin. The only thing they can sell you are gimmicks. And one of the gimmicks they love is proof of burn.